name is Steve Everson. I'm a physics teacher here at uh, Grovetown High School. We're in Grovetown, Georgia, right outside of Augusta. And um, I'd like to uh, take a few minutes to explain to you about a project that we're running here that uh, I call Why Fizzle. And I guess the best way to introduce it is to show you what happened the other day when we were setting up for a physics. Hey, Mr. Everson, we're here to do live. Hey, guys. Um, kind of as I talked about in the class, it's a coefficient of friction lab. I got your block, I got your mass, I got your um, spring scale. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, what is that? This, as I just said, it's your spring scale. It measures force, how much things weigh. You just kind of use it for pull the block. How would you have done this lab a long time ago? A long time ago, Fred Flintstone time, a long time ago, me time. Your time. Thank you. Um, hmm. Interesting question. Hey, Ms. Harperson, we're here to do the lab. Hi guys! It's great to see such a nice, culturally diverse kids, representative of this school, come to do a physics lab together. Today, you're going to do a lab on the coefficient of friction using a block, a mass, and this spring scale. What is this? This is a spring scale. It can measure force or mass. It's a very sensitive piece of equipment. Wow, that's cool! It sure is. Good luck, kids. Just forget about it, and, and well, never mind. Just if you have any questions, just let me know. All right, thanks, guys. Okay, so maybe it wasn't that inception-ish, but but it's you, you get the idea. We're using the same equipment that they probably used in the same labs for physics for the last fifty or sixty years, and and so the part, the purpose of why fizzle is to get not just new equipment, but we want modern equipment, updated, new technology. I'm going to show you a slideshow. I hope you take watch it all, and it'll completely explain what Y Fizzle is and all the details. Thanks. So let's get right into the some of the details on on Y Fizzle. Now, specifically, what Y Fizzle means, what it stands for, is the Wi-Fi Science Lab. And if we're talking Wi-Fi, we're talking wireless. The primary piece of equipment that uh, is centered on Y Fizzle is the Vernier's LabQuest 2 interface. Now this interface can handle a number of um, different types of probes, temperature, current, etc. And the unique thing about this is that this interface can broadcast wirelessly to a personal device such as a smartphone, tablet, um, laptop, computer. This uh, personal device, this smartphone then, can be used and we can collect the data and record the data on this device. It can save all the information on it and then the student can then simply take it home and finish working on the um, lab <clears throat> using the information that they've collected on their smartphone. The equipment that makes up y will consist of 16 LabQuest 2 interfaces. This will be enough for two classes to use at the same time. It'll include the sensors for these um, interfaces. Now, we're going to get a variety of the sensors. Um, we're going to get enough um, of one type of sensor for one class set, but we're going to have enough variety where a biology class and a physics class can be using the interfaces at the same time. We're also going to be getting um, the, not just a whole class set, but like a one and two type of demonstration um, sets for some of the sensors, some of the more um, expensive ones um, that we don't want the students using that much hand-on that the instructor can actually just use at the front of the classroom. And then as they collect the data, that data can be broadcast out to everyone in class. <clears throat> YPizzle is also going to consist of 10 netbooks. I'd like to get, I'd like to get these netbooks for kids to use. Um, they can collect the data on it, and then the, the, the thinking is we will loan these netbooks out to the kids. They would take them home and finish working on the labs at home with this netbook. A number of our kids simply don't have these resources. They don't have a computer. They might not even have a smartphone um, to collect the data on, and they would use these netbooks for those reasons. And then finally, we've got some peripherals we need to consider. Um, lab books, 
the software, some charging stations, and, and that's just going to make the entire project complete. So this is the entire scope of the equipment involved in y Fizzle. I think the next most obvious question to look at is why do we even need it? What, what's, why, is the, why are we even looking at undertaking this project? Um, and to answer that question, I need to tell you in a little bit about Grovetown High School. Our demographics are that we're, uh, our student population is 47% white, 32% uh, black, 12% Hispanic. Um, the 9% is a miscellaneous category. It's not that we don't know who they are. It's just um, we have like a 1% and 2% of various things, and I just grouped them all together. We're a Title I school. 40% 40 of our students are on the free and reduced lunch program. <clears throat> Excuse me, and 33% of the kids are classified as economically disadvantaged, which means one third of our student population lives at or below the poverty line. And I'm going to um, not necessarily come back to this fact, but that's a big reason why we want to do white fizzle. If you graduate from Grovetown, um, approximately 40% of our students. Um, plan on attending a four-year college. Now, many of these kids, and this is true for every school, won't finish that four-year program, but 40% um, have that, have those plans. 20% will be attending a two-year college or a technical school, and 40% will be um, attending, a, will be going directly into the workforce. So, still answering the question, why do we need y Fizzle? It's been shown in many, many studies that the more education students have, that will get them a higher average income. A little bit of college is better than just a high school diploma. A full four-year college bachelor's degree is better than a little bit of college. I, I would like to qualify this a little bit because I just don't believe more education will yield a higher average income, but also a better education. <clears throat> why Fizzle will provide a drastically better high school education for our kids. And if they have a drastically better high school education, they have better chances of succeeding at a higher, with a higher standard of living in their lifetime. <clears throat> Excuse me. Why Fizzle also provides net skills that all kids, whether they're going into college or directly into the um, workforce, will benefit from. What I mean by net skills is many of, many of the students in my class can probably jailbreak a phone. They, can, they probably know how to know all the tricks on Call of Duty, whatever. But they don't know how to properly use a word processing program, a spreadsheet. They don't know how some of this technology, how some of this wireless technology really translates to life after Grovetown. Why Fizzle is, will make that bridge by introducing them to some of this upper end technology now. They will be more comfortable and knowledgeable when they get to college and when they, or when they go right into the workforce. These net skills are applicable to everyone, and, and that's the thing to, to understand. There's a strong correlation between um, a student's social economic status to their high school GPA and SAT score. There's a strong correlation between the high school GPA and the SAT score to college success. Our students don't have that social economic status that they can rely on. Our students, as I said earlier, one-third live at or below the poverty line. While they're great kids and they're doing their best, admittedly, they're simply at a disadvantage. That might be rude of me to say, but that is a fact. And to make things nice and official, here are my references. So now, let's look at who is Y Fizzle aimed at? Who can use it? All areas of science. It's the Wi-Fi science lab. It's not the Wi-Fi physics lab or the Wi-Fi bio lab. It's the Wi-Fi science lab. We're going to get lab books. We're going to get sensors. 
that are applicable to all disciplines, all grades, 9 through 12 can be used. A lot of times we tend to limit this upper end technology to the upperclassmen, to the juniors and seniors. And actually, we want to do just the opposite. Our plans are to target the ninth graders. That's our biology and environmental science classes. We want to get them involved. We want to get their hands on using this equipment because it is my belief that will further their interest in the, in the science and the technology classes. And, and, and that will just continue that throughout their high school career. Bottom line, who can use y Fizzle? Everyone. So, <clears throat> how much money are we talking about? We're talking about $35,000 for everything. I know that's a lot of money. Um, but that's the whole scope of the project. I am optimistic, yet I'm also realistic. And I have it broken down into, into smaller phases, into smaller mouthfuls, so to speak. Phase one, which is the first $15,000 approximately, will consist of a class set of the LabQuest interfaces with the priority sensors. Now, by priority sensors, what I mean are the sensors, there'll be a range of sensors, motion detectors, voltage, classes um, for the upper level physics classes to use, but we're also going to really focus on the environmental science and biology classes, so we might get some additional sensors aimed more for those disciplines. We want to get that ninth and 10th grade buy-in early. We're also, this phase one also includes getting the software, lab books, and all the other peripherals that I had listed before. Phase two consists of getting the, note, the netbooks um, and the second and complete class of, of LabQuest interfaces and sensors. After phase two, all that remains, phase three, are all the additional sensors that uh, we have targeted that we would uh, like to get to make this as complete of a lab experience as possible. If I had $35,000 right now where I can go out and buy all the equipment that I needed, I don't foresee needing to buy any additional sensors to cover any additional labs for five to six years. And that's, that's the thinking. Um, what do we need to cover us for a while? So what do we need? What does the y Fizzle project need? Um, th this is a no-brainer. We need your help. Um, obviously, we need, we need money to make it happen. That's what it's all about, sadly enough. Um, the neat thing about Fundageek, and one of the reasons why I ended up going with Fundageek, because there's many crowdfunding platforms out there, is that they work through PayPal. And, pay, and our school already has an account set up with PayPal. So any gifts that you make through PayPal go directly into our school's account. It is so easy from my point of view um, on handling the money because I don't have to. Um, keep in mind, since this is going directly to the school, all your gifts are tax deductible. What else we need? We need your help in sharing and spreading the word. I, I would love, of course, we would love to have you make a, a, a donation to us. And in addition, I'd like to have you share this video through your social media. If you're unable to give, and I fully understand that because there's many fine projects out there, if you could at least please just share this video, um, help spread the word that this is what our need is, and that's a that's cheap and easy way to, to, to help us out. If you are able to help us out, I've broken some um, of these uh, monetary amounts down into different categories, and I've, I've labeled them based on our school mascot. We're the Grove Town Warriors, and and so the Bronze Warrior category is a twenty dollar to ninety nine dollar gift amount, and and that'll consist of um, a thank you card. We'll include um, a thank you, a plug, or a link as necessary on our on our web page, um, and then that also includes a small token of appreciation gift from our from our school. The Silver Warrior category is from 100 to 499. Um, and in addition to the above, um, we're also going to work on naming you an honorary warrior. 
Unfortunately, at this time, I really don't have those details. I'm still working with my principal as to how we can best achieve this. Um, possibly a plaque like in the in the um, out in the hallway with with names on it for those individuals that have truly just helped us out. Um, I'll get more details on that later on. Um, as, as I learned them. And then our last category, the Gold Warrior, which is $500 up, that will also include um, recognition from our Board of Education and um, being included as a um, school partner in education. So what if we don't do white fizzle? What if, what if this is a complete waste of our time? What if, you know, that's, that's, we always have to consider that aspect of it. And, and I don't have a doomsday scenario for you. I don't, I don't have a, we're going to, the school's going to shut down, you know, um, scenario for you. We will continue to do everything that we have been doing and, and that's it. However, the world's going to continue to march on. The kids are going to be exposed to more and more technology. And if white fizzle doesn't happen, then we'll just continue to educate them with the, with the same old stuff. I know the video, the, the opening of the video is a little bit farcical, but there's a lot of truth to it also. I, I teach a primarily physics classes, and, and so, of course, I, I really enjoy talking about the modern physics and Einstein, and Einstein has just some great quotes. So I guess I'd like to um, close with, with one of his quotes. It might seem a little bit odd, but I think it's very appropriate because uh, it applies to the education um, um, establishment. And, and that is um, the definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results because we do that so much in education. <clears throat> we use the same equipment and we expect these kids to be better outside of school and they don't, and, and there's no correlation. Why fizzle will help bridge the gap between what's going on in, in the modern society and technology outside of school to what we're doing inside of the school. So that's why fizzle. I'd like to thank you for taking time to watch this video. Of course, I'd really like to thank you if you send in some money to help us out. But if you're unable to do that, I understand there's plenty of great projects on fund geek um, As a minimum, I'd like to ask you to at least share us through YouTube, through your social media, as I mentioned in the presentation. I'd also like to thank fund geek for giving us this opportunity um, to, to work on this project. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. All my information is on the fund geek website. Thank you.